everyone, my name is Amy Giebert and I'm the Communications Deputy for Los Angeles City Councilman Joe Buscaino. The City of Los Angeles is here to serve you, um, but what if you don't have time to attend a City Council meeting or a hearing to learn what's going on in the City? Well, we have the perfect solution for you, a one-stop shop called the Los Angeles City Council File Management System. Here you can keep up to date on all the issues that are important to you. Everything from what the city is doing on the new street vending plan, to sidewalk repair, to how the city is addressing homelessness. So here we're going to show you how to do that today. So why don't you come with me and let's show you how it's done. This system might look a little outdated, but it holds lots of valuable information. You can simply enter a search term, like sidewalk repair or street vending, and see all of the files the council has and the actions it has taken on that particular issue. Or you can do a more advanced search. Um, you can look at actions taken by a specific committee or council member. For example, if you live in Council District 15, you can look at all the motions made by Councilman Joe Buscaino. All right, here's our quick guide to do all of these things. First, you want to head to, to cityclerk.lacity.org slash lacityclerkconnect. Once you're there, you can start by doing a simple search. For this example, we'll use street vending. You click search. And this will bring up all the related council files related to street vending. In addition to searching a keyword, you can also search a specific council file number. You can also limit your search results by choosing only council files, only motions, only resolutions, or motions and resolutions only to restrict your results. And I'll show you an example of that. Um, the search will display the top 500 results, and you can sort these results using different parameters, such as relevance, council file, and the last date the file was changed. And you can add another search word to filter down those results even more. So we can include the word sidewalk here. And now we'll get all the results for street vending sorted by relevance that also contain the word sidewalk. You can also perform an advanced search. Um, this allows you to get into way more specific information, such as searching by the council file number, the exact title of the motion or resolution, um, the date it was introduced, what committee it was introduced in, who introduced the motion, who seconded the motion, um, etc. Once you've searched and found the specific file you're interested in, you can click on the council file number to display the full account of that file. This will give you information such as the original motion, um, which will be all the way at the beginning, um, to who has submitted speaker cards and given public comment, to public reports, um, community impact statements from neighborhood council, and the, finally the action taken by the city council. So you can see here with this example, we have the initial motion that was made to start this file off. So you can also see everything from the initial motion that started the council file to the public comments made to community impact statements made by neighborhood council. You can also see the final ordinance language and the action taken by the city council. In this case, you can see here the vote count on that particular item. Um, and then also that information is displayed here by date. You can also sign up for email alerts to get updates on specific council files when a new change comes through. In order to do that, it's really easy. You just click this button and it adds your email address to the list and hit subscribe. You can also print relevant documents or subscribe to an RSS feed. All right, and that's how you use LA City Clerk Connect, the city's council file management system, to keep up to date on what's going on in your city council. Thank you.